everybody, welcome back. As you can see from these boxes behind me, we have some more Unify stuff to unbox. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so to get this uh, kicked off, we're going to start unboxing this one first. Uh, we picked up a Unify Dream Machine Pro uh, and a Wi-Fi access point. So we're going to do the unboxing of that here. And then we also picked up some VoIP phones. Uh, this is going to be kind of a like Unify several part series where we go through, uh, first thing we're going to unbox this, but then we're going to do the initial setup, how to create VLANs, how to set up the Wi-Fi, how to set up the VoIP on it. So I hope you guys enjoy and stick around. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll just get into this. Ooh, that's a good sound. Alright, we'll get you guys in here a little closer so you can see what's going on. Got the packing bubbles. Manifest some more packing bubbles. We have our Nano HD uh, wireless access point, and we have our Unify network box. For our Dream Machine Pro, pretty easy to open. Has a uh, pull tab here. Just pull that. We also pick this up so that we can do a site to site VPN uh, as well as be able to have people remote in uh, without the site to site, just doing like client VPNs on it. Looks like we got a box for our hardware comes with a power cable, so it's got the US plug on it if you're in the US. It's also got the rack rails as well, so if you want to rack mount it, you can. And then this is kind of neat how they package all of the screws. Makes it pretty easy. Comes with the rack screws, comes with screws for mounting the brackets, and then rubber stoppers is if you're going to put on a desk or something. It's kind of a neat little package that they put that in. Up to the side. And here is the dream machine. We have a little Unify Protect manual. We'll get into that later. So here's the device, comes with foam packing all around it. Almost feels like you're unboxing an iPhone, but much bigger and less expensive. Alright. So here is the Dream Machine. Comes with eight one gig ports, also comes with a ninth one gig port for the WAN, as well as a 10 gig WAN SFP and a 10 gig LAN SFP. It does have a hard drive bay as well, so that if you want to add a hard drive to it, you can. Uh, that would be for your uh, protect, for if you're going to run security cameras and stuff like that through it. On the back side of the device, it has a USB connect connection and as well as the power connection that you can run. Uh, it does have a single power supply in it so uh, it doesn't really have redundant power supplies if you're trying to put this in the data center with like an A and a B side power. Uh, that wouldn't work. You'd be better off with putting a uh, UPS or something like that to make sure it doesn't ever lose power. The uh, other thing I noticed too is it has on the front side the spot for the rack rails not on the back side so it is uh, only one way you can mount it in a rack. Um, you can't 
have this as the like the front side of the rails. So kind of disappointing there, but not a deal breaker. So we'll work on getting the rack rails put on and then we'll come back, we'll get it plugged in and walk you through the initial setup process. We want to allow it to have permissions. Yes to network devices. And ooh, it sees the Dream Machine Pro. So we're gonna hit setup. And there we go. Connected. We hit next. I'm going to hit sign in because I already have an account. And now that we got logged in, it's now doing a internet speed test to see what kind of download and upload we are getting. And now it's updating the firmware. Now that the firmware update is complete, uh, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, if you want, you can plug your laptop in now to look at the web interface, uh, but we'll continue on in that in part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of the unboxing and the initial setup. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.